pretty sure that was the last time I'm fishing in California. Time has come. I'm gonna try and get out this next week, but we're gonna have some big ass thing stuck in this freaking driveway. I'm not gonna be able to get the boat out. So I gotta get all those, all that. I don't even know how many it is. I'm guessing 40-ish. I gotta get them in a boat. So I have more covers. I got rod sleeves. I got real covers. I'm gonna first take all the baits off and uh, I'm gonna release the drag. So here's the deal. Obviously traveling across the country, uh, everything's gonna be locked up. I don't need any baits on these rods and reels. And the second part of this is gonna, is gonna be coming to you from Dayton, Tennessee. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna tear the whole boat apart. Cause now once we get there, so we're still in Cali, we're leaving in a few days. Uh, once we get there, we rip everything out of the boat and we gotta merge my tackle and Cody's tackle all together. So that should be fun. You guys are gonna see that too. It's gonna to be hyperlapse, much like this is gonna be. So you're gonna you're gonna see, and I'll talk throughout the whole thing, so you know, guys kinda of understand what's going on. First thing, take the baits off. Second thing, put sleeves on. Third thing, put reel covers on, get rid of the drag on all of them. Gotta loosen up the drag on all that stuff. You know, for you guys that are uh, tournament anglers, maybe going out of state, stuff like that, you understand this whole process. Uh, going through all your gear, making sure everything's set. Uh, some people like to put, you know, baits on pre-tournament when you're going across the country. Uh, even going to another state, you might want to keep your options open. So you'll have some stuff uh, set up and then you're going to be tying stuff on. We're just going to take everything off for the sake of being able to put all this stuff in there, which I have no idea if it's actually going to work or not at all. Zero. So I'm going to separate all the ones that don't have baits or don't have reels, whatever. I'm going to do that first. And we're going to go from there. Have fun watching this total shit show. Already. Done. Separated. Now it's time to cut bait, literally and figuratively. Probably would have been a lot easier to do this as I was going, but I'm an idiot. It's hopefully gonna give you guys an idea of how much of a nightmare this is. But hopefully you only have to do it once at least to this extent. These are the rod gloves, if you guys haven't noticed. If you order more than a certain amount on Tackle Warehouse, they think you're, you've messed up, so they have to like verify the order. So there's like 30 of them. Then I found all my old ones. These things are really sweet though. I would recommend their odd gloves. They, they are pretty awesome. All these rods are doubled, with the exception of maybe like four. I thought we were gonna go past Dobbins on the way out there, which would have been pretty sweet. However, we aren't, so.
Fun fact, really, the only rods that I have in my arsenal that are not Dobbins rods are my jerkbait rods. Every one of my jerkbait rods is a Shimano rod from high up as a Zodius all the way down to an SLX. That's it, man. It's all in there. 42 rods, actually 42 combos and like eight rods. Um, now we got to do it all over again, but we get to do it in Tennessee. So we're going to lock this baby up, get on a road. Next time you see us, we'll be tearing this thing apart, putting all Cody's stuff in here and trying to figure out where to put it all. We're going to need a bigger boat. Hope you guys enjoyed all this stuff, man. If you did, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you like our channel, please subscribe. It helps us out. Comment, let us know how we're doing. Love seeing you guys out there talking shop. It's a real humbling experience seeing you guys on the street, you guys coming up saying hi. Uh, it's really, really cool. We're glad that we're getting to you. Uh, we're glad you guys like the channel and like us. And that's all we can really ask for. That's what we're, we're doing it for. We're having fun. And uh, can't wait to get in Tennessee. Can't wait to fish those lakes. Those rivers are going to be fantastic, man. Looking forward to it. Well, we're going to have more content for you guys. So gear up. It's coming. In the meantime, if you guys haven't looked at last week's stuff, uh, when me and Jimmy were out at one of the local lakes here in SoCal for the last time, he was on a back fly fishing. I caught a decent fish on a frog. It was really fun. It's right here. Go check it out. Uh, I think you guys will really enjoy it. So listen, it's fun. Say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. We're out of here. We love you. <laughs>